what is the problem with him we're playing Firewatch today but we are playing for I've never actually played this game I haven't really touched it but it's good now so I thought I'd buy it check it out see what it's all about I'm not saying that I've got this guy you can't hear him but he's, he's I'm not gonna repeat any of the words he says so if I'm talking to someone it's gonna be him shut up you mug all right let's go Firewatch what's, uh, what's in the what's in the settings what's yeah let's get, get subtitles I get subtitles then. You always need subtitles. Right, new game. No, I thought I put some cuts in. Damn. All right. Multiple settings. Loading. I see Julia. Oh, I was supposed to press it. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with her well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Uh, what's your major? You slur the word major and it sounds like cause. You give it an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. I am a professor. Cool. You reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Was that a burn? You ask. She says, definitely. Worried, she hurt your feelings. She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. Mmm, yummy cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, one. One week. <gasps> whoa, whoa, okay, well, hold on. I can't tell if that was me. There you go. Nice. Where are the arse still? Is this my car? This is my truck. Yo, hold up, gang. Let's go around a little bit. Can I, can I get back here? Nah, let's take my truck. Come on. I would never put my bag in the back like that. What the hell, man? I was going to fly it out. You did for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized bee girl. Julia is a love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle old German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia. Oh, what's that? Oh, what the Let's bring Beagle. Yeah. Bucket's a good dog. And we're gonna leave. Totally forgot about the award. Julia loves him. You love him too. Oh, I love my dog. I'm a fluff. What the hell, bro? 1979, you talk about, you talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off like the high desert. What do you think, what do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart, I'll go much. I'm saying, if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots, that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you think. These kids are going to be, uh, uh, these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that the parents have pitched. My truck. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Do not, don't not forget to check in. No fireworks. You're in their country, learn to live with bears. The thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers, is this the map? 
Oh, it is. All right, very nice. Oh, well, that's getting very nice. Oh, it's gone black. It's a Thursday night in Julia's four hours late. She doesn't call you worried that I'm getting arrow by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her anything. She says, "Great, you'll hold on to a tiny bit of." Hmm. Got fear. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. I pose and flex the hair, he man. You look awesome. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a very smooth landing from dropping up there, wasn't it? There's all hands at the bottom. This is having a great day. Look at that sun, bro. That was getting beautiful and I made it for about five minutes. <laughs> During the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking back at night. There's a festival in town, it brings in folk from far away places. One of them tries to mug you over the- Whoa, buddy! Buggy gets killed. F word! Did. Dog! Julia yells, she gets flooded and her slow speaking when she's stressed, you confront the other. Go! Go! Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp, you don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Do you ask you to take a different path from that day forward? You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. The plan is to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets off with a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate, department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She said that that would be hard, but she'll do it. If you won't move, you tell her not to pass it out if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Jill was sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an, an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember. She had happily loaned them to him two, just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. My journal. What the hell? Bucket's getting older. Julia can come and comment that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble in the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Julia's Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in, her, in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent, permanent medical leave. Some days you get you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family you tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with no things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 
You spend your day following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care at home. It sits with you for a couple months. Yeah, love. See you later. That's crazy. Well, we're still going. How old are we? I wonder how old we are. You probably like they're around about the same age, right? That's a deer. The deer's gone. A family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and booze her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You can go out to the bar with your old friends, it's not the same. You get the feeling that every Every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like you ever did, I will cut your balls off. Hmm. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months ago, months go by, Bucket dies. Julie doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you in the back of your mind. You believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming up and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. My lookout tower. Enter the lookout tower. Ooh. Do you go house? Now we'll do a check. Needs another lookout tower over there. That's cool. I really have the art style in this game. Turn on the power. Is this the power? Gotta be. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, hello. what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Damn. Delilah, you are... Uh, it's 
sound pretty, uh, I sound like a nice lady. <laughs> maybe, uh, you know, maybe I'm having me up sometimes. <laughs> well, we said that. Day one. I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Do you see them? Jesus. Seriously, are you seeing this? Y y yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. All right, bring my bag. Let's go. Here are some fireworks. <coughs> Come on, in this game. Find the rope and down this cash box three six. Well, what we'll I have to break? <laughs> Two forks, region overview. What about that? Ah, that's you, mate. The tank. You can barely hear you. I, I've heard it before. It's extremely quiet. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, it wasn't. No, you're gone, buddy. Alright, sorry about that. Let's keep going. So, am I, do I know one of them? That's like, wait, where am I? Oh, I've gone past it. I did not know where I was. And I just like... Oh, I can. No, all the way back up there. Damn! Am I heading the way? 
I'm facing the right way. Lovely. Very glad I know that. No, oh, I am going the wrong way. Jesus Christ, but I'm so... <laughs> oh, my days, bro. Because the fire's works were this way. If I'm correct, no, if I find look at my map, yeah. Okay, it is this way, then. Okay. I am just a bit of an idiot. Very beautiful game though. It does look very nice. Huh. Also, this is that. Am I already here? Oh, damn, I am. the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. It saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. It was one, two, three, four. Doing my map. Oh, there it is. Seven seven eight six. Ron, hey man, guy can take it. So I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found that. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get. Uh, well, I'm back. Dave. Thank you, Dave. Oh, I'm keeping that. Just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. And those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, very nice. And they're one of the pike in here, though. Well, I need to go this way. Do I have to turn this fire off? Okay. Is it matter what way I go? I, mean, I could go left. I mean, they all lead to the same place. Well, let's go this way just like because it looks like there's a nice big path. Is this the medicine wheel? Oh, no, I've just gone. Oh, no, oh, somewhere. Never mind that. I'm just going straight forward. Oh, I need to learn my way around this map. Know it's steep. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh. Wow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? 
on you. My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Look, my fall end. Oh, almost done there. Let's go again. Oh, but I ain't got a thing. That stinking old rope snapped. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Okay. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Cut out, I'm gonna clean them all up. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muscle light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Yeah, mine. Hang on to that one. Oh, says, oh, okay. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. What, a bra? I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are... Uh, I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? What the hell did you pick him up? What the hell am I? What the hell would he pick up? I don't know. What disgusting man. I don't even want to examine him. There's a... Two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. <sighs> I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Enjoy dealing with that. Cool stereo! Oh, hey, put that down! Seriously, it was expensive! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! Are you guys crazy, Charlie? <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick! I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? But what's wrong with these teens, man? Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Totally. You're gross.
Ja, natürlich vor. Genau, es war dann. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. I love this kind of this place. It's cool. Climb. Remember Pink Stanley Parable? I oh, did the one thing and they put me in as a game and Firewatch was one of them. Can I go this way? Like a little... So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure the reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Oh, thanks, Delilah. I appreciate that one. Right, let's get back up to my tower and enjoy life. Oh, wonderful. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? Aw, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes. One, two, three, four. Open. Copy the information. Oh, flashlight. Give me that. sense that not everything in here is useful in the boxes why that i don't really know what i'll do with the deer horn firstly they're called antlers and secondly stay out here long enough and you'll get creative i have a flashlight though i don't have to go it because i got going to the cave what's in this cave down here in thunder canyon thunder canyon hey i didn't name it but in the cave NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Hello. Oh, what's here? Hey. Climb the rocks, please don't fall. There we go. Alright, just fine. It's getting a bit spooky. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't 
think so? Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> Ooh, a little jump right there. What was that fellow doing up there then? He was like... Very high up up there. Right, let's keep going. Let's my flashlight back on. See what we can see. Let's climb over this. Oh, let's climb up the rocks. Oh, now there's more rocks to climb. Lovely. Not very safe, is it? Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. I love that sound. Not many games have radios like this, I like it. Was this wooden? Hey, it's horrifying. I like the outhouse in a rustic, um, roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. Well, let's go in here then. Let's go back in the, the tower, shall we? Hey! Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Not me. Ooh, my typewriter back. What are they doing inside of my tower, huh? Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Who did this then? Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay. 
Okay, tough guy. All right, the hider. Oh, day two. So this game's been very good so far, very fun. Hey, wake up. I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. There's no backup? Backup is the two day hike out of here. So that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Well, I, I think I'm going to end this bit here. I'll probably do class, start recording. It. Yeah, love the second one. Second one straight away. Love to enjoy this one. See you in the next one.